Tech Fan Productions here, bringing you a video about the AOTech Home Energy Meter Generation 5. This is a Z-Wave device. Purchased it for roughly $90 off of Amazon. Also purchased the AOTech Z-Stick Gen 5 USB. So I compare the two together and I'm using it on a home seer. Here is a diagram of how to install it into your panel. It comes with the device. I will show you step by step. Uh, home seer sells a version for the Raspberry Pi that is easy to install, easy to use, very inexpensive. The Pi is about 40 bucks. Software I got on sale for 75. First step installing the clamps is to take your panel off and then I'll show you step by step what you need to do next. What I did was, and again, you when you're putting these in, make sure that the orientation is correct. There is a, an arrow on the back of it that shows which way it's supposed to go. So there's two legs, that's why there's two of these. So you're monitoring each leg in the home seer software, in the energy monitor. It does compare that for data wise and you can get all your stats there. For installing this, I put a wire tie here and a wire tie here because these things are kind of loose. They're not 100% tight. So what would happen is they would just slide down and, and you don't want to slide there because you don't want to be accident there. You also do not want to be touching anything bare in terms of the two leads that are here. Uh, that is not a good thing to do that you would get electrocuted if you did that. So my advice is if you're not comfortable with being inside an electrical panel, have an electrician do it. If you are comfortable, then go ahead and uh, you might have to put the wire ties like I did. I've seen some other, notes, some other folks that did that. It's not something that I just came up with. It's something that I did some searching around. People, people said the same thing, that it will, otherwise it will slide down and, and you don't want to have to be fishing around for it down there. You want to stay far clear away from that. Plus also, you want to keep that uh, you know access area clear for uh, So I ran it through and then there is the module. So I'm going to show you the module. Okay, here's the energy meter. Basically, it's the unit plugs in. I have an outlet here that I installed for it. Uh, you'll see there's a button behind this. This will just allow you to pair it to your home seer. You really can use this video, at least in the beginning of it. You could pair this with any of the others. You could, I've paired it. When I first got it, I uh, paired it to Smart Things. Uh, it worked fine. I wasn't really crazy about it. I found Home Seer had some better graphing and some other tools that I could use, so I just went with Home Seer for my application. Well, the next step is linking your meter to an existing Z-Wave network. This is assuming that your controller is already set up. As I had said prior, I'm using a Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Home Seer software. You can go to the Home Seer website. They do give a free 30-day trial. They give a great installation. Raspberry Pi is a cheap platform to set it up on. It works really well. Have not had any issues with it. I already have uh, already pulled my not my module into the software, so I already have some data. But I'm going to show you how to do that, like it was brand new. So you want to go on your Z-Wave Stick. You want to go into Actions, and you want to go into Non-Secure Node. You're adding a non-secure node. That is the most important part. If you try to add it as secure, which is default. It will actually show like it added, but you'll get zero data and you will not get what you want. So again, I repeat, you must go and do non-secure when you're bringing in or you're pulling your node. And you'll see that I have data already in here. I have data from previous. The one thing you want to do is you want to go into, you're basically going to click on the names, like as you would see under Watts. You want to click on the Z-Wave button and you want to change the polling. The default polling is set to zero. You want to set it to a fair number. I picked 15. I figured that would work well. It has been working well. I've had it set up for about six months. The next thing to do is you can go into energy and then you can see your stats. One mistake that I made, and I'll show you how to fix that, is that you can see here under this month and today projected and this month projected, it looks extremely high and not something that you would normally see for a local electric rate. Well, when I changed over to the winter number, I accidentally changed it over to 90 cents per kilowatt instead of nine cents per kilowatt. I'm gonna show you where to change that. Go into tools, then you're gonna click on, and when you uh, set up, you're going to go and you're going to click on default energy rate. You want to change that. See, I already just changed that. It's set to 0 0.1, which is 10 cents. I'll probably actually go and change it to 9 cents per kilowatt because that's the actual winter rate for our local electricity currently. And you'll see here is some stats, uh, just updating and doing different things. So again, thanks for watching. It takes a lot to make these videos. So if you can give a thumbs up, please post any comments if you have any questions. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.